If you're looking to combo your opponents to death or just swing a giant spirit sword, then pay attention because today I'm going to teach you about my favorite character in Naraka Blade Point, Yoto Hime. Hey everyone, it's OSK, and today we're going to show you the basics and the ins and outs of Yoto Hime so you can take her into your games and start dominating the competition. Starting with the basics, Yoto Hime is a straight up combo assassin and you should treat her as such. She can have high mobility or high CC, but one thing she will always have is access to combos and tons of damage. If you're ever behind in a fight with a quick stagger or knockdown, you'll be able to string together combo after combo to turn the tide in your favor. Yorohime's main skill is called Spirit Slash, which lets her throw out a Spirit Sword, which deals damage to enemies it hits and recharges if you slay an enemy with the ability. As with all characters, it comes in three forms. The starting skill is my personal favorite and this lets you toss out your spirit sword and blink back to it for a blue focus uppercut. The sword will also stop during the throw if it hits a surface or an enemy. The second version of the skill lets Yoto Hime throw out her spirit sword and makes it return with an extra slash as she grabs it, useful for extra damage. And finally, her third version lets her slowly toss out a spirit sword that rotates very slowly and lingers in the area and this will block all basic attacks and stagger enemies. This can let Yodo get a quick combo off or even heal inside the sword. You've probably seen Yodo Hime's ult before, and it's called Ominous Blade. This lets her summon a massive sword that slashes people in front of her three times for big damage. You can also use the Spirit Sword Blink if you're in the ult to reposition after every slash. The basic Ominous Blade lets her do the regular three slashes with extra damage if they are, are nearby enemy cairns, great for trios especially. The second version allows her to heal health and armor from nearby cairns with a bit of reduced damage for each slash. And finally, the third version is my personal favorite. And this lets Yodo Hime slash an extra three times with her Ominous Blade more quickly for some extra damage. This one is my preferred choice, especially for solos. In terms of weapons, Yodo Hime really likes the spear and dagger in the current patch. Both of these weapons have their own strengths, but they also really help with Yodo's combos in combination with her basic skills that I'll get into later. The spear is a really great spacing tool that Yodo can combo with both her regular spirit slash and slower spirit slash for extra combos and dragon slayers. It pairs with her very well. The dagger, on the other hand, is her best combo weapon, and Yodo especially has the most fun with this weapon in comparison to other characters. Her basic kit can be a little intimidating at first, but if you put in the time learning some combos, you'll have a much easier time dominating with her than most other characters. She's definitely not the hardest character in the game to play, but learning her combos and knowing when they apply can take some getting used to. I'd say she's difficult to pick up right away, but once you learn the character, she can be absolutely filthy with crazy combo strings. Thanks for stopping by everyone, and thank you to 24 Entertainment for letting me show you the ins and outs of Yoto Hime in today's guide. If you'd like a further breakdown of her combos and strategies, then be sure to check the description. 24 Entertainment has allowed me to post my full Yoto Hime guide right down there, so be sure to check it out. And of course, a special thanks to everyone who let me use them for the ult demonstration. Thanks again. Again for watching, I've been OSK, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all out there.